I'm Silene. I'm reporting for BritAsian.com. I'm really excited because I'm here for the new British comedy called The Infidel. And I'm here with Omid Jalali and David Badil, who wrote the film. You've got to check it out. Let's see what they've got to say. Is it? Ow! I was just looking. Mamoud, look at all this stuff. It was a very interesting uh, experience, actually, because I get mistaken. Like David, David gets mistaken to me. He's Pakistani. He, he said. And I get people up to me as well. You're the best Pakistani comedian I've ever seen. And I think they said the same thing to David Badil. I think they said the same thing to David Badil. <laughs> Two you know? peas in the same pod. So I think that it was one of those things where you realise when you're doing a film like this, it was the first time you get to see the, the humour of the, the similarities between two previously seen as polarising, you know, faiths. Why don't they just call you Jew, 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 Jew and be done with it? Jew! Jew! Well, my favourite thing about playing a Muslim was that he was a very British Muslim. He was a very... He was Tottenham Hotspurs. Tottenham Hotspurs is a football-watching, beer-swilling, fat git. And I think that's very <laughs> representative of a lot of, you know... Can I use the word secular Muslim or, or Muslims who have raised in Britain who, who feel that they're Muslim, but they're just very British. Anti-Semites, Islamophobes. I think by, by highlighting the similarities, I think that when people see the film, they'll see there's not that much difference with a bar mitzvah and a good old Muslim, you know, or Pakistani Muslim, you know, shindig. It's very similar. There's lots of dancing, eating, drinking. And I, I remember hearing Jews like Stephen Burkhoff talking about it, because I love the whole, my Jewish culture, with the music and the dancing and the... I thought, well, that's my heritage as well. Yeah. That's what I was, as an Iranian, that's where I was brought up. It's like it's not one culture's monopoly on, on, on drinking nice things and eating nice food and dancing. All these films you have, like East is East or My Big Fat Greek Wedding, it's usually like a white person coming into, you know, the ethnic family. Whereas this is very much, you just see how the Muslims are together, you see how the Jews are together, and you see a Jew in the, you know, you see a Muslim in the middle of all the Jews, and actually fitting in. As soon as someone teaches him a dance, he's doing it straight away. <laughs> Is that a shrug? It's a shrug. That's not a shrug. My favourite one is of a Muslim girl who's eight. Have you seen me do this one? I've actually put it up. Muslim who's on a who's on a plane, and the American says, "Why don't we have a conversation?" It makes the plane journey go quicker. And she says, "Well, what do you want to talk about?" And he goes, "Well, uh, you're Iranian. Why don't we talk about Iran's nuclear weapons program?" And she says, "Before she puts her crayon down, he goes, before we do that, can I ask you a question?" He goes, "Yeah." He goes, "When a horse does a poo." It comes out in tubes, but when a cow does a poo, it comes out in pats. But when a sheep does it in pellets, why is that? He goes, well, I don't know. She goes, well, how do you expect me to talk about Iran's nuclear weapons program when you don't know shit? One word, Russell Brand. Scandalous. Lee Evans. Physical. Peter K. Uh, Peter K. Northern. Jack D. Deadpan. Alan Carr. Hysterical. <laughs> Catherine Tate. Um, Granny. And Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. Um, creepy. I think I've got to tell you. It's all done. The punishment for this is death by stoning. Mazel tov. Yes, I gotta have 